Welcome back to day two of the SHVR Jam. I'm Ben from Road to VR, and I have my friend Christian here from SHVR, one of the organizers that's helping to put on this event. Christian, uh, how did day one go? Day one was awesome, Ben. So we had a lot of teams. They stayed late. They stayed until about five or six in the morning. Um, it was very, very cool. Good to see people just jamming on stuff. And we've had lots of food coming through. People are full. Uh, they may be tired, but today is day two, and everybody is working hard. Christian's going to go around and see what everyone's up to. Hey. Yeah, I'm Nick Peck. This is Brendan Scullin for the American team here. We're trying to build some data visualization. It's supposed to go in the gaming and entertainment route. What we're trying to do is build an app that takes advantage of the fact that you can be in a room make that your virtual office workspace. So what we deal with all the time is financial data. So we're actually trying to pull a bunch of information about different stocks, in this case in the S&P 500, and lay all that information out in space. So as if it's a virtual conference table floating in the middle of the room, now you can actually walk around the data and explore it. Well, that sounds awesome. Wow, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. What uh, we are doing now is um, a magic in ancient uh, China. It's called the flying sword magic. Of course, this is a uh, myth, not a uh, real martial art. I read a lot of, uh, about this magic. Yes, noble. Um, I love it. Um, with uh, my controller, now I can really make this happen in my game, so I'm very happy. So, what are you working on? Uh, we are working on a combat game, a fighting game, where we're going to fight a warrior in ancient China. So, uh, yeah, we're working on the mobile textures, and I'm setting up the NPC behaviors. So yeah, what we are doing with swords and fireballs. Awesome, love it. What are you thinking about for the fireballs? What kind of mechanic? Uh, what we are going to try to do is you hold your control like this, you hold it, fireballs great, and it's ready after, after a second, and then you can throw it. Oh, nice. We are going to link the velocity of the controller to, to your fireballs. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Now we are making a scene uh, based on a very famous novel in China. It's called uh, The Story of Archery uh, Heroes. Uh, this is a really uh, very famous one in uh, Chinese novel market. So I'm very happy so, uh, to make this uh, happen in uh, HTC Vive. Uh, we are doing a walkthrough of ancient uh, Chinese garden. Uh, the art asset oh, in the awesome. project is yeah. based on uh, one of our uh, former architectural design. Uh, we only do a concept of the design by then. And when we know this uh, HTC 5 Gen, uh, we brought this uh, design up again and want to make a 3D uh, scene out of it and work in it. Hey guys, what are you working on? So we are working on a game of the engine of the juggle. So we play as a juggle in the first offensive view. Uh, the player will attack the juggle and the juggle will defend. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so cool. we can, we can, the player can just uh, play as a juggle, use his hand to attack back the plan and the spit fire. Nice, yeah, nice, yeah. awesome. So tell me what you're working on. Right, so we're, um, we're working on a multiplayer uh, kind of game with tutorials where um, it's, it's physics based so you can pick up objects and you can kind of throw, throw them at the other player. Nice. It's supposed to be like a fun kind of like experiment. So this is multiplayer? This is multiplayer, right. Wow. So, so we're experimenting with how do, how do you do multiplayer in VR, uh, how do the cameras work, and joining a server and that sort of thing. So we have this kind of fun uh, market uh, kind of scene here, uh, we're calling it the bazaar. There's all these kind of interactive objects uh, in, in the world. So, so each of these objects here, uh, the player can pick up and throw. Uh, each one has kind of a different uh, effect, so things that are made out of glass will shatter. 
It's made out of wood, can be stacked. And it's kind of uh, just like a, a fun kind of physics sandbox uh, that takes place in the market. Uh, Got it.